Hey everyone, I've had this Dometic CDF11 portable fridge freezer for just over four years and it actually died almost on its birthday at four years old. Actually the compressor still works on it, but the capillary tubes are completely clogged so it doesn't get cold anymore. I diagnosed it as such and I don't feel like going through all the crap involved with brazing in a new capillary tube, especially when it's wrapped around another pipe. Uh, about three feet worth of it. So no, I've had enough of it. I think I originally paid about $425 for this and it served me well, especially considering it's been in a very severe usage. It's been in my day cab semi for four years, running for at least five days a week, being bounced around and banged around with a Freon compressor and it's worked flawlessly until recently. It finally clogged up. So I think that works really well in its favor. It, it handled the severe conditions with no problems. So I was going to get another one, but then I looked on Amazon and they have some cheaper ones out now. So instead of paying about anywhere from four to four fifty for this, this unit cost me two hundred dollars. Now the Dometic is eleven liters. That's its internal volume. This one is fifteen, and that is the smallest they have. This is manufactured by Alpi Cool. We make you feel cool. Whatever. That's their slogan. But a few comparisons. This one is a little bit bigger, although instead of being long ways and tall, this one is more long and squat and further back. So I've noticed in this one, my drinks have to lay down instead of standing up like it was in this one. Uh, you also do not get two cup holders on this. And the power cord, whereas... The, the Medic gave you six feet, and it's not really a silicon rubber. It's actually hard to flex this, and it keeps all of its bends. The one that came with the Alpi Cool is 10 feet long. has a very good 12-volt uh, connector, and they're pretty much silicon. They flex a lot easier, and they don't hold the bends nearly as much. So it's a better quality cable, actually, in that respect. It also comes with a USB port on the top. I could really care less about that. Everything does not need a USB port, but that's just one of their stupid little selling things. But for 200, it's not bad. Now this one, you can set it down to negative nine degrees Fahrenheit. This one, you can set down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. Big freaking deal. It freezes. So the, one of the other things that's interesting, and I'm going to bring in the camera closer, is this one, of course, uses a Danfoss compressor. One of the worldwide leading names in compressors and it uses a regular radiator with fins and everything else into it to expel the excess heat. The Alpicool on the other hand actually uses what you find more on the back of like a chest freezer where it's the black grid which has more spacing and you would think that would give you less cooling capacity or it'd be harder for it. It hasn't been the deal with me. It's actually cooled perfectly fine. Now, of course, the Dometic comes with a carrying, ca um, a carrying strap as well. This one does not, but it does have two molded hand holds to carry it very nicely. And that still works perfectly fine. It would have been nice to have a carrying strap. There is no real way to mount one on here. So, again, for 200 bucks, you're missing the cup holders and the carrying strap as so far. Not a big deal. Plus, I believe this uses an LG compressor, not a Danfoss. So, LG isn't bad, but it's just not as good as Danfoss. So, I don't know if I'm going to get four years out of this bouncing around, but we're going to find out. Right now, let's do a test on it and see how long it actually takes with it being empty to get down to 40 degrees for refrigeration and then down to negative 4 degrees for full freezing. Okay, so I got my bench top power supply set up, plugged into the back of this unit. I haven't turned it on yet. We have a stopwatch set here. So let's go ahead and turn the unit on. Oh wait, what up if I turn the power on to that? There we go. Now we got power. We are set for 14 volts over here. It says 13.4, so there is a voltage drop going through all the wiring for itself here. And there goes the compressor. Let's start this. And I currently have it set for negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, and the starting temperature right now is 68 degrees inside the unit. 
and we are pulling right around about two and a quarter amps fluctuating about 30 watts and it's on max right now it's kind of hard for you to see that little setting right there on max is there any difference if we switch to eco let's find out okay it's blinking eco and now we're steady and I still see 30 watts so it probably does something different it's not immediate so let's just go back to max and let it go ahead and let's see what it does here okay so we just hit 40 degrees it took about 15 minutes from it 68 degrees when it wasn't running at all and you can see now we are pulling about 50 watts so I guess the max mode has actually kicked in and it's running the compressor a little harder now so let's let it keep on going down to negative 4 and see how much longer that takes also don't forget this is 40 degrees on the walls of the unit itself not the center of it it's as normal for a chest freezer like device that doesn't have an active cooling fan in it or anything else like that. All the cooling channels run around the edge on the interior. So it will take a little bit longer for the center of the unit to actually get to 40 degrees. But the outside, the inside outside walls are already at 40. So let's let it keep on going. Okay, the unit just shut down. We can see it hit negative 4 for a second. That's its cutoff and it's at negative 3 right now. And it did that from 68 degrees Fahrenheit down to negative 4 in less than 22 minutes. We can also see that our standby wattage is only a half a watt. And right before it shut off, we were down to 45 watts running. So it's a fairly efficient unit, and it did it really good. So let's actually pop it open and see if we can see some ice crystals inside. Let me get this stuff off of here. power supply on back <clears throat> and let's open it on up here and yep we definitely got some ice let me refocus real quick here and it doesn't want to pull a focus on it there we go how about that there we go I found a focus yeah there is a little bit of ice right here so it definitely worked, and wow, yeah, that's definitely cold. The center, not so much. It's definitely cold, but not like the side walls. The cold definitely still needs some time to sink into it. Oh, come on. Will you focus, please? Thank you. Okay, manual focus. But yeah, the cold needs some time to sink into the center of this unit. So for $200, it's actually a pretty good unit. It's still cold inside, and I ran this about 10 minutes ago, and I've had it open. So yeah, there's definitely some residual Freon sitting in here, still cooling the unit, even though it's been off for about 5 to 10 minutes. So the only other thing is the, um, the medic unit had a nice latch system for the top, whereas this one is more like a plastic friction fit right here. There's like little nubs on each side, and it still seals nicely. It definitely takes two hands to open it, though. These will probably wear down eventually, but we'll have to see. That'll probably take at least a year or two. And I've already used this unit for two weeks in my semi with no problems whatsoever. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but yeah, I already got a few scuff marks right here. That was not shipped to me like that. That's from it just bouncing around in the truck. I do have it secured with a bungee cord so it doesn't bounce around too badly. Same thing with the uh, Dometic, which I have over here to the side. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I will try to put any more information I find available down in the description below, plus a link to this on Amazon for its current pricing. As of making this video, it was $200. It may fluctuate a little bit, but go ahead and take a look down. And thumbs up, please. It does help. See you next time.